human services consultant. I think, Jeff, that was something that you were working on. Yeah, I just wanted to notify the commissioners, uh, obviously, I've sent this to you in advance. Um, the, today, we'll be releasing an RFP for the human services uh, consultant uh, proposal. Um, the goal is just to get somebody that's going to do a strategic, a strategic five-year plan for human services, uh, also carry out uh, planning for several of the items from the Human Services Summit, um, for items that were taken from that. Um, basically, we're going to have a couple of weeks for them to respond, and then I think the second week in May is when we'll review them with the um, Mental Health Advisory Committee and the Human Services Administration to make a decision because we have to uh, we have to actually get them um, in place um, in May, okay. and then we'll be working through um, May, June, July, August. I would think on that project. But, um, we had a very good input from the advisory committee. Um, I think everybody's ready and. Looking forward to getting this moving forward. Okay. Sounds good. So I'll move on to the commissioner's meeting. And then Lisa is here with a proposal. Um, it says natural gas rates, but I don't think it's natural gas, is it? It's no, electricity. Not. Okay. You want to just kind of over a proposal from JMI Consultants? Yeah, we're currently um, with them for electric and we our current rate is 0 0.05252. And you can see that the number that they're proposing is 0 0.07764. Our rates for electric have gone up a lot. We don't renew until 11.30, so we can keep revisiting it. The market is pretty volatile. So, I thought we had to renew sooner than that when I sent this for the meeting. So, we have some time. The, uh, so, the volume of 1.1 million kilowatt hours, is that for the whole, um, is that for, for the whole uh, um, contract period or is that annually? That's for the whole contract period. Okay. Yeah, so that's a 32% increase, so. Okay, well that's better. We're gonna do some more analysis though to check. Okay, very so good. We'll bring this back. Okay. It doesn't need to go on for Wednesday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And then, oh. 7,000 a year. Correct. 30,000. Correct, not 28, right? <laughs> it just, it's perplexing to me because electricity is, Powered with a lot of natural gas, and that's one of the things. But then again, it's the utilities. Don't quote me on that. It's not capitalism. You probably can. <laughs> but you're going from capitalism to utilities, I guess, right? <laughs> I will tell you, it is the most crazy thing. I, I, I worked with a utility company out of Texas. And you would be shocked what all they think into their rates. It's just, it's, it's crazy. In any event, it is what it is. So uh, the jail roof is the next item on the agenda. And I see we got an estimate from Tremco um, with a picture of the actual roof and the sections that need to be Placed and then their estimated cost is three hundred fifty to three hundred sixty-five thousand. Um, Lucy, you want to speak to that, please? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So we've been working with Tremco and the Garland Group to um, have them look at the the roof and all that needs done there. That both organizations have given us some estimated pricing. Um, they've all done uh, test holes and. The Garland Group gave us a lot more um, comprehensive um, estimate that is phased and also takes into consideration some pointing that needs done. There's a lot of um, where 
where the material goes only partially up the side of the wall needs to go up further. And so they gave us an estimated pricing of $552,660. But there's, like I said, it is more encompassing. Um, What's that number again? $552,660. That's for everything. And that's the bargain? Yeah. So I just wanted to start the conversation. Um, Garland Group um, ha ha would go through CoStars, and Tremco, I checked with them, they go through the KPN, the, can, the Keystone Purchasing Network. So there, so there. Both. So it's creating obviously a lot of leaks because now those seals have broken and so water is getting down in there and the, the product needs to go actually over the wall and, and then be secured. So, um, so I wasn't sure how to proceed because I know that you guys have worked with some of these organizations in the past. Um, I didn't know if we had an appetite for this project, but if we do, we need to keep moving forward because we're, their schedules are probably booked for summer and we're looking at a fall project. And this is a, um, I mean, the roof is leaking, so it's a pretty high priority then, we would say? Absolutely. Okay. Are there any other capital projects that we're in the middle of that maybe could be j jiggered around to allow for funds of this? I don't know. Something to think about. Okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And then just thinking through, you know, from a funding perspective, um, I know we have a capital contingency allowance. I'm not sure how large that is or, you know, what, what's been allocated of those dollars. So it might be worth just thinking through that yeah. as these come along. But clearly it's a, it's a project that needs managed. And, any other comments? Not that I want to slow the thing down or anything, but is this something that we should talk to Larson about and then just incorporate into the other construction projects? Like, because you're going to have to mobilize multiple agencies to do the work, but, and there's a economy of um, scale of having them just tack something on rather than having a whole other organization try to. I, I'm just throwing it out there. It's, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I think that it needs done. Do we know how, uh, how soon the other project's going to go out to bid? Well, they're, they're putting all of this stuff together now, so it's, you know, we have a meeting, Pam, with uh, Shane, don't we? Mm -hmm. No? Or you talked to him. Um, yeah, I mean, they're putting all the paper, all the bid documents and everything together to get it moving. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe that's the ship sail. Um, I just, it, you know, it just occurred to me, I know that whenever we have to mobilize, like, when we, you know, have to mobilize another organization, then they have to, they have their own machine, they, they might bring the same machinery to the job, like, I know there are a lot of logistics involved with this roof, just because oh, of, yeah. the, of the nature of the department. And, um, yeah, I guess, I guess my point is, is that I'm supportive either way. Like so, if if the faster thing is just to 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 go with this and bid it out and moving, then fine. If it, if if we talk to Larson and they say, oh yeah, this can be incorporated into it, won't be a big deal, then you know that yeah. might be a way to save money. I just know that it it needs done. So. Thanks. All right. And then the next item was a resolution related to the redevelopment tax force, and I think we were going to table that, if I recall correctly, until well, the next meeting, or would you like to speak to it? Well, I just uh, very quickly, um, 
I wanted to make you aware that I sent a um, resolution to and a pack of information I sent to you, obviously, to read um, to the city council to have a joint task force uh, for riverfront redevelopment. Um, <clears throat> they've not approved it. They, they, they're just reviewing it themselves. It's very possible that this won't happen. I don't know. Um, okay. So uh, they're going to look at it. I think they have a work session on May 8th. Um, so the idea here is, is it isn't to trample on anything that's going on right now or to, uh, you know, create another cog in the wheel. Um, both entities have, have allocated a, a great deal of resources to, uh, to try to rebuild the riverfront. And so this is just, um, this entity would take an active approach to, you know, planning, coordinating over the remainder of the year um, to try to move the um, riverfront project forward um, and this so I guess what I'm just asking is, is that you review the information in the packet and if you have any questions let me know and then probably depending upon how things go with the council what their perspective is then if they're comfortable with what's being proposed then then we would come back here and um, then talk about formalizing it potentially. So this would be jointly between us and the city of Warren. Yep. As far as the tax force. Yep. Uh, uh, each, here. Yep. Each entity would pass a resolution that would just create a joint task force that would be comprised of, I think, seven people, um, mostly city council and city folks with some county folks on it. And the idea, again, is to have like a formal group that would meet monthly to plan and, and promote the. Really rolled that out to any of the fire departments, or they're not 
So the DCED study, this was a recommendation item, right. their fire study, and then this was, this community risk reduction plan was actually um, one of the recommendations of the fire study. And it just basically supports the findings within the fire study. Um, I don't know that there's a lot of support from the emergency services community. Um, um, so one of the other takeaways was that the commissioner should consider facilitating meetings with local elected officials to address public fire protection issues and encourage them to meet their legal obligations, including appropriate funding for fire services. Sounds familiar. Um, so we're doing that on the EMS side, okay. and this study is just asking us to do something very similar on the fire side. Um, I think that we have just as much of a problem with fire services as we do with EMS. It's just not as prevalent because the call line for fire departments isn't as high as it is for emergency medical services. Um, so just to, just to point out the, the takeaways from this plan for for public safety of the seven takeaways, four of them are already done or in progress. Great. Um, and I just wanted to follow up with, um, well, I feel that this plan is very important. I also feel that completing some of our current tasks on our plate are probably equally as important. So I'd like to continue with the emergency operations plan and community lifelines uh, project and get that project closed out before we start diving too deep into the risk reduction plan. Okay, very good. Other than that, um, anything else on the consent agenda? We have some proclamations, and that's about it. All right, I, I guess you were one of the department community updates. <laughs> um, is there any general discussion that we had? No, I know that we're, um, we have a call with the uh, broadband RFP. That's why I was asked. No, because I think we're going to have. What are we going to have? One more. We have a meeting scheduled with CTC. Yeah. Call. Um, it's, it's Wednesday. I thought it was Wednesday morning. It might be Wednesday afternoon. Well, do we want to consider putting it on the agenda if it's if it if it's a positive outcome. I, you know, two or more weeks. It's, you know, I, I, I think it would be good to meet with them and talk yeah. about them. Okay, very good. Yeah, definitely want to do that. It is a 10 o'clock. Uh, Commissioner's meeting is up. I had a brief um, request for an executive session for elections. Okay. Yeah. Did we have the uh, schedule? It's at one, but it should be short. And if you want to yeah, do we'll, it at time, we can do that. I can't promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I don't know. Let's put it this way. If you guys, I, 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 I don't care if you, let's put it this way. Actually, I don't know. Technically, wouldn't we want to, if we, if we were interested in them, want to get a, some type of contract agreement and build yes. on that? Then you can make yes. the selection. You can make the selection, right? It would just be making the selection, not, and then the agreement would come separately. Okay. Well, if you want to add it, my point is, is if you want to add that to one, I'm fine with that. Let's add it, and then if, and if we don't yeah, feel that we can, we'll, yeah, and if we can come to a conclusion, we'll just table it. Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. If nothing else, we'll close the work session. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Enjoy your deep dive there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like